With two of the five nominated films taking place in the Holy Land, Israel and Palestine are prominently featured in the best documentary category at this year's Oscars. First up, The Gatekeepers, a spellbinding take on one of the world's most famous conflicts, as seen through the eyes and words of six former heads of one of Israel's secret service agencies, the Shin Bet. The organization, the Shin Bet, is not so known internationally because a lot of people know the Mossad. They don't know the Shin Bet, but the Shin Bet is the most powerful clandestine organization, intelligence organization, who deals with the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. If there is something that these guys that are speaking in the movie understand, it's the Israelis and the Palestinians about this conflict. Through a mix of animation, archival footage, reenactments and interviews, the gatekeepers takes a critical look at the sophisticated war which Israeli agents have been waging against Palestinian militants for years. The director says his film sends Israelis a clear political message about their relations with the Palestinians. It comes from the center of those who basically tortured, targeted, assassinated, did all the things that need to be done in order to maintain the security of Israel. And they are coming and saying in a loud and clear voice, enough of the occupation, enough. It's the worst thing that can happen to Israel is to maintaining that occupation. The Israeli occupation is also at the heart of five broken cameras. This other nominee chronicles the non-violent struggle of a Palestinian village in the West Bank against Israeli settlers and soldiers. The director displays the cameras he used to shoot his story and after which he named his film. <laughs> was the first camera, so <clears throat> this was broken by <clears throat> gas canister. So I decided to continue because that's mean uh, many things for me to continue filming. And uh, I thought this is my responsibility. And Imad Bernat says he hopes that his work, which he co-directed with an Israeli activist whom he met during the protests, will help Palestine advance towards international recognition and independence.